Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech. And one of the things that I start to notice is my computer is giving off a lot of fan noise when I'm starting to play games. So which leads me to think that my graphic card is probably really dirty and dusty and everything. So what we're going to be doing today in this video is taking apart, cleaning, thermal pasting my graphic card. So let's get started. So here we are. And here's my graphic card that needs to be cleaned. It's a 7950 from uh, ATI or AMD. It's a Twin Frozen 3 from MSI. And I had this for a while. That's why it's uh, collecting so much dust. Now, luckily for me, it's only four screws to remove the entire heatsink. I've seen other graphic cards where it's 15. I actually worked on a few where it's like 15 to 20 screws. It's insane amount of screws just to remove the heatsink. Now, after that, you want to slowly wiggle out the wire, the fan wires. I've broken those before, so you got to be very careful with those. Now, the next step is to remove the cover. Anything that gets in the way of the heat sink or removing your fans, you want to remove. So I removed mine. It's only four screws. Again, it's very lucky for me that, that it doesn't have that much screws. Now, I removed the fans. That way, I can get everything out of the way. Um, usually, the, the screw should be underneath the fan. So spin the fan around and you, you should be able to see it. Now, always double check if you have all the screws. You don't want to be missing any screws while you're assembling this thing or more things are going to start rattling. Now that we got the fans off, I'm going to remove the brackets and I'm just analyzing on um, what I'm doing over there. This was actually the most screws, eight screws, just to remove those brackets. Now after that gets removed, uh, we have to remove, we have to clean the thermal paste that's on the heatsink itself. Now I use this product from um, Arctic, and the first one is the uh, Thermal Paste uh, Cleaner. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to show you where you could buy this. It's actually a kit. And then stage two of this is the, um, what do you call that? The purifier, Thermal Paste Purifier or something like that. I just think it's alcohol, but you know what? It came in a kit and it came with everything that I needed, so. Might as well use it. After you clean, you see how it's all shiny. Now, after that's all done, I actually brought it outside to clean. And I uh, sprayed it down with those dust busters, which I'm going to leave a link where you can get those. You guys should know where it is. What I did over here after I cleaned it is if you have a brushless fan motor, you can actually take these things apart. And it comes into two pieces. Unless you don't have it, then it's stuck in one piece and you can't do nothing about it. But here's the next step. I actually took them apart and use this thing called uh, Synthetic Grease uh, Super Lube. I'm gonna leave a link in, in the description where you get that also. Um, that will be applied to inside the little fan motor and also inside the fan. There's like a little rod that sticks up in the middle. That's where I'm gonna be applying the grease, you know, because these things have, uh, it, it spins around. You kind of don't want it to like cause a lot of friction and you know, it also helps with the noise. Now, as soon as you apply everything, I just used a little tweezer, took a little bit of a mount, and just, you know, pasted it on. You could squeeze the fans back together and make sure you test it by spinning it, you know, with your hand. Make sure everything f is free. There's no, like, uh, resistance and no um, vibrations or anything. So test both the fans. Make sure you got that going. And once you're done with that, you could reassemble the graphic card. Now... Just reverse the order that you assemble the graphic card in, then you'll be fine. As soon as you're done with reassembling the entire graphic card, we're going to be cleaning off the thermal paste from the graphic card itself. And um, again, I'm applying the same process, which number one, you would use the uh, thermal paste cleaner, then the thermal paste purifier. I don't know why they named it like that, but... That's what you're going to be using. If you don't have any of that, you could actually just use alcohol and uh, make sure it's dry before you apply um, the thermal paste. Now, I'm also using Arctic Silver thermal paste. I'm going to leave a link in the description on where you could get that. And like I said, it comes in a kit. So once you get those two, uh, once you get the thermal paste, it'll actually come with those two. But in, in case you don't buy the kit, you know. Now, applying thermal paste... You don't have to apply a lot. All you need really is a grain of rice. Now the whole purpose of thermal paste is actually to help transfer the heat 
uh, on those cracks and nooks that you have on the imperfections of the chip. So it looks like it's flat and everything, but there's are uh, there are little imperfections in the chip itself and also on the heatsink where that's where the thermal paste will fill in the gap. Too much thermal paste will actually harm it. That's why I actually say use like a little grain of rice. Now when you're putting the graphic card back onto the graphic card, when you're putting the heatsink back on the graphic card, sorry, um, as you see in the video right now, I'm slowly putting it so make sure everything's aligned because you don't want to smudge it around as soon as you get the heat sink onto the chip. You want to just apply it in one shot. As soon as that's done, you're going to see that I'm using a crisscross pattern to uh, reinstall or tighten up the heat sink itself. And I don't over tighten the first shot through. I just uh, uh, tight, uh, slightly install the screws, then tighten it back the second round. And then there we have it. Just imply, um, just cleaning out the whole graphic card and applying thermal paste. So guys, cleaning the graphic card is not one of my favorite things to do. Um, it takes a lot of time out of my day. Um, if you got multiple graphic cards, it, you got to do each one just to bring everything back to its former glory. But with that being said, at least everything's clean, everything's quiet, everything's working as it should be. Now I have a new announcement to make. I started a new channel called Nova Spirit TV and basically it's going to be a lot of videos that I have or done or made that doesn't really pertain to this main channel. Like behind the scenes for this video is up right now if you want to go check it out. But again, other stuff that um, doesn't really pertain to this channel, I'm going to start throwing it up on there. Maybe some vlogs or um, other type of tutorials that doesn't have to do with tech. I don't know. I decided to separate it and put it into two, two different channels so I don't um, over flood the different ideas or different types of tutorials onto my main channel. So if you guys are interested, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Check that out. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, hit that little subscribe button. That helps me a lot. Also gives you notification of when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.